I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Black Hole celebrates. The Raiders are winners here as we say so long from Oakland. Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. and 10 it's Wilson and it's hauled in by Nick Vanette and they do finally get him but he takes it to the 25 a huge play there right off the bat and even 50 yards exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10 Forced out to his left. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Steps away to his left. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on the opening drive. 
But three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game, and they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Myers connects on the PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their own 21. Ryan. Got his man. That's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. They go play action here on first down. He sets to fire deep. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. I know exactly why he tried to throw the ball to Julio Jones there. He's never considered cover. He's either too fast or too strong. You always try and get it to him. Especially on those deep passes. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They run, Devontae Freeman. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Here's Ryan. Trying to lay one up deep. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 46 yards. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point up and good by Tavecchio. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Wilson. Flush to his right. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So when the defense complains about having to do pursuit drills in the heat of training camp, plug in this play. Excellent pursuit. Force the quarterback out of the pocket. He ends up trying to run for it. Instead, he goes out of bounds and loses yardage. That goes down as a sack for the defense. Tyler Lockett. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Tyler Lockett. 76 yards, and the Seahawks have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted, and now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 36 yards on the play. 
Well, we spent a lot of time exalting the offensive masterminds in this game, right? They draw up these beautiful plays. It looks so perfect up on the board. But occasionally, sometimes you just say, throw it up and let him go get it. How about that play? And it's intercepted at the goal line. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Through an opening, and there he goes. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. J.D. McKissick, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now 21-7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Atlanta now coming out on the field. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Again on second and ten, it's Ryan. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. It was Trey Flowers that time who got a hand in and broke it up. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and this shows on the scoreboard. It's caught, Jones. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A well executed 22 yard gain. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. That was very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Well, he's been the guy already over 100 yards here in the first half. Could have had a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. Yeah, in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did as well. Fourth down. Here's Ryan. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brad McDougal. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 35-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. They'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Here's McKissick. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. 
They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Vic Beasley. And the Falcons will take control of the football in great field position. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Caught by Jones. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute draw before the coaches. Two-minute draw. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you tip. And he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They will run it. It's McKissick. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Wilson going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's a perfect 5-for-5 five five here to begin the game. Wilson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Ryan to the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 26. Ryan. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Tedrick Thompson picks it, and the return comes to a halt. Right at the 44-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. After the interception, here's Wilson. And 
And he finds a man with a crossing route. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Like the goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the interception by the Seahawks. D leads to a touchdown. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on the second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Fielded about a yard deep. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking deep for Julio. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Julio Jones once again the intended target. And now it's second down. To throw again. Ryan. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Cassius Marsh. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. To throw is Ryan. He'll let it go deep for Freeman. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Flushed out right. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. On second down now, it's Carson, and he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Myers connects on the PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 23. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. 
Cassius Marsh able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. You can't stop me. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. I'm coming, I'm coming. Off the play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. He's going to go for a big play downfield. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 87 yards. And the Falcons cut into that lead. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's what Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. Come on, fellas. The Seahawks take over first and ten at their own. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and ten. They'll run with McKesson. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. That's zero rooting interest. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Back 25. Strip that ball. Strip that ball. Oh, On second and 15 now. Ryan. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Ryan. And a big loss here as he's taken down with a sack at Ziggy Ansah. Well, I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. Looking downfield for Jones. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10, right at the 50-yard line. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Wilson. He's going to fire one deep over them. And this is caught at the 20. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That one good for 37 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that, 
has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Check, four down, four down. Funny, funny, funny. 45, 45. Yes, yes. 45. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. And it's put up or shut up. Time defensively, nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. It's a three yard touchdown run. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Check, 55, Mike. Three bucks, three bucks, three bucks. 
On the ground, this is Rashad Penny. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now it's Wilson. He's going to rifle one deep left. And got his man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That goes for a gain of 31. Now Wilson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Wilson throwing again. Escaping the pressure right. Going for Metcalf on the deep. He's got it at the 15. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. It's a gain of five, and it's a second down. Throwing again here, Wilson. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. And the Colts pick it up. And they are going to score on the fumble return. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Oh, backbreaker. That'll drive the coach, the offensive coordinator, just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone. Can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. How about the aggressiveness of the defense, though? They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes... the last thing you hear and that's exactly what you do brings up second and three they'll operate from the 32 yard line here second and three play action now wilson he lets it fly for lockett this is intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Naeem Hines, his first carry. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Oh, yeah. Tackle made by Ziggy Ansah. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play. Holding them to no gain. On second down, here's Love. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. 
It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Touchdown, Indianapolis! Naeem Hines, 49 yards. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. Vinatieri connecting on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. The throw right sideline here is complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 46. Justin Houston making his presence felt there in the backfield. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders. And he's going to be sacked back on his side of the field at the 44. Jabal Sheard. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now Luck. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 yards there, first down. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Naeem Hines with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Colts add on to their lead. 
Vinatieri able to tack on the PAT. And it's now 21 to nothing. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. To throw again on second down. Wilson buying time to his left. And avoids the contact by sliding. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now Wilson on first down. Flush to his right. Polluting. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. Dancing to his left. Now he's going to go up top over the middle. And that's caught inside the 30. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football. A full half to be played. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Lock. Under pressure and down. Goes. Luck is sacked. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Luck and the Colts looking for something big here after the sack. This is third and long. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. The final shot before the break. Lock. Oh, wide open. Complete. And he's taken down inside the red zone past the Seattle 15. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Off of play action. Luck. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. That'll bring up second down. Now a give right side. Hines. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. 
That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. To throw his line. Being chased out left. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a toss play. It's Hines. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Yeah. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Locke. He's going to go deep for Funches. It's caught inside the 25. It's a gain of 34. There's simply no sense in wasting a great catch like that on a short game. Get downfield like you just did there and use it up that way. No dink and dunk. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. This is caught. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run with Hines. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. Terry connecting on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And here's Terry now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their 35-yard line. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 39 yards there. A big one. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though. But he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Jabal Sheard able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's the second sack of the game. But this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Let's go, let's go. Throwing on second and long. Wilson forced out to his left. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And a loose football. And I believe the Colts have recovered. Yes, they have. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. they got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Following the fumble recovery, here's Locke. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. Touchdown, Indianapolis.
take a week to count it. Then I'm back up, name the place and we pack up. Running these racks up, 100 mils a week after. Down from laughter, when they come to handles, never had one. With a bad one, made a meal today and ain't my last one. Oh, I get back up. This is the NFL on EA Sports, and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Century Link Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Houston Texans. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. On first down, Watson. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick, and they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. After the interception, here's Wilson. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A gutsy call turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Rashad Penny, first carry for the former San Diego State Aztec. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. They keep it with Penny on first down. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, got and he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have taken a first-quarter lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Texans take over first and 10. 
And now out comes Houston. Not the start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game. It leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Yeah, a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha-ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. He's going to air one out. It's caught inside the 25. Watson hitting Fuller with a big one. And even 40 yards. No part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blowers guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Now, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. A good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Third and long, it's Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A shotgun snap for Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Will Fuller was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. He's got Fuller. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Cassius Marsh credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Another try after the first down sack. Watson to the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. That catch good for five. It's third down. Third 
Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third and long, it's Watson. Going deep for Hopkins. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Seattle Wait, offense now is set to come back out on the field. Wait, and on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. Check, they had to punt back. from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Steps away to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. He's going to loft one deep left side. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, 57 yards. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Myers connects on the PAT, and the lead is up to eight. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Gets fielded in the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what pressure comes? He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Bobby Wagner, credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. After the sack on first down, Watson, man open, that's Kiki QT complete. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Watson on first down. He's going to look deep down the feet. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. From the red zone now, Watson. That is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins as the first half is winding down. And now the Texans are within a two-point conversion of tying up this game. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead is cut to one at 14-13. Fourteen seconds, all that's left of this first half as they come up on first down. We got three, we got three, fellas, we got three. 41 Mike, 41 Mike, right here, 41 Mike. Hey, that's good, that's good. From the gun, it's Wilson. That one going to be complete to David Moore. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. First 
So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And this is complete to Moore on the comebacker. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, Wilson. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. The lightning rod, J.J. Watt with a sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. To try again after the sack. Wilson, he's going to float this over the middle deep. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Now Wilson throwing on third and long. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf. 85 yards. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead is up to eight. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. Try and get the run game going. This is Miller. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on let's defense. Go, go, go. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. It's complete to Fuller. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. From just shy of midfield, Watson. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Check out 
Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but, boy, that was textbook defense. And this will be a touchdown. Deshaun Watson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And now the Texans are within a two-point conversion of tying up this game. He doesn't need a lot of space for an electric run. He showed that there. Heck, they told him. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. So they kicked it there. Third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second. You don't? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down run does for me. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and ten, right at the 30. Here's Wilson. They'll run the screen with Carson. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. 41 Mike. Four down, four down. Push him back. 41 Mike. 41 Mike. Right here. 41 Mike. Watch the pass. Mike, 41. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him. And able to bring him to the ground. Jadevian Clowney able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Now it's Wilson. Left side complete to lock it. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. 36 power. The Seahawks will go for it. It's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Flushed out right. Over the middle, complete. That's Carson. And he'll be down deep into Houston territory. It's a big play there for Seattle. 44 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Escaping the pressure right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Oh, the touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down.
Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 23. From the gun, here's Watson. And Thomas has it. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, and the catch made by Hopkins. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a first down throw, Watson. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, the and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Cassius Marsh in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. Watson going to pull back the handoff and keep it himself. Get his three time now. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. 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 I know it's a never say never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you? And say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to be what we call and he'll be forced out of bounds shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep to, and that's caught inside the 30. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. This will be taken in at the one. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. Oh! 
They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. Back to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The pro bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Back to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. There in coverage to knock it away, Marquise Blair. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 30. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. To throw is Watson. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. Brandon, you know I love boxing, right? You know I love big fights, right? I had given them the standing eight count few times along the way and look at how this one ended yeah they had well i guess nine lives just like a cat kept fighting and they're in the end making the huge play to get the game winner i guess that's the epitome of you always have a puncher's chance well a little drama there at the end but really this thing was already decided the late points get scored and then it ends on the kickoff and i'm right there with you partner at the end of the game they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. I just ran to check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Then I'm fine as hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping cause I got another cell. He still buy me by a cell. I could get it by myself. These I could get it by myself. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with the Cleveland Browns. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Go, 
On first down, Mahomes. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. A good pick up there, 22. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, I to didn't want offer it. Mine. Yeah, you were, you're the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Denzel Ward right there in coverage to get the hand in. We talk all the time about playmakers on offense, but let's face it, there are plenty of playmakers on defense, too. I think we just saw an example of one, didn't we? Not force that incompletion. Yeah, he's a great corner. They got a couple of them on that side of the football. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. And they do exactly what they wanted to. Opening drive, they get into the end zone, they do it on the ground. And not only is the person lugging the ball happy, of course, because he got it into the end zone. How about the offensive linemen and receivers who are blocking for him? They have to feel great about themselves sticking it in the end zone on a running play. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 21. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Now after the run by Hunt, here's first and ten. You can't block me. You can't block me. To throw Mayfield. He's got Njoku over the middle. That throw good for four. It's second down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you'd gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And an alley to run. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt. 54 yards. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point safely through, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line.
And now here comes Kansas City. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Mahomes now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. Mahomes now to throw. Looking downfield for Kelp. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. Yo, two yo. big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. The number one pick, Miles Garrett, coming in to drop him. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first. And, and that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. This is fielded at the goal line. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. People can kiss it on the ground. <laughs> Buying time to his left. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third-down situation. Mayfield down. He finds Beckham complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A very solid gain of 27. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, right at the 40. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to seven. 
Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. Well, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gaughan. Ten more there and another first down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. So the false start will back them up five. And that'll set them back five. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. They'll run with Hunt. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Give him a couple on the run there. It'll be second and 13. But well, obviously they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield under a heavy rush and down he goes. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. We're going to keep getting set. Mayfield and this Browns offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. Third and long for Mayfield. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Fourth down, and on is Greg Joseph for the Browns' field goal. On the left hash mark, this is a 38-yard attempt. The kick by Joseph is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Mahomes now on first down. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's going to go down again. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Mike, 
Third and long, it's Mahomes. And the pressure gets to him again. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. All day, baby, let's go, let's go. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and ten at their 25-yard line. Mayfield on play action, going up top. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throw it, Mayfield. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Yes, they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the shotgun, it's Mainfield. Caught left side, it's Beckham. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham, 75 yards. And once again, the Browns are back in front. Extra point up and through, and it's now 17-14. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he checks this one down to Williams. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll bring up a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett. Who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. 53 to Mike. 53. Check. Yellow. What's the run? The run. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Over the middle. He's got Watkins. A really nice gain of 25 yards. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Now Mahomes. 
And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Mahomes throwing complete there to Robinson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Dancing to his left. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jannard Avery in there to record another sack, and that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Bunker on for the Chiefs field goal. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will tie things at 17-all. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. On the run, this is Hunt. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. They'll run on first down. It's Hunt. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Yellow. 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They begin the drive with Williams. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. On second down, Williams. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Get ready. Get ready. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Christian Kirksey in there with pressure yet again. That is the seventh time that they have dropped him here this afternoon. Williams. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Damian Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. No problem there on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their own 24. Mayfield over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. On first down, it's Hunt. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They'll run again with Hunt. Chris Jones on the stop. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think is excited about that? Absolutely, this defense are saying go right ahead with those. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The Browns on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and 15. He'll look to throw. Over the middle to Beckham. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. 
Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Now Mayfield on fourth down. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. A very important extra point there. Up and good. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Garrett, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now Mahomes. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. Slam. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 23 yards to pick up there. And the Kansas City Chiefs. First down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Mahomes now 13 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and 10. throw is Mahomes and going deep for Hill and that will be incomplete would have been a big hitter if they had connected instead it's second down and here in overtime if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown it's over if they don't we can still have some more football that's exactly right if they go down and kick a field goal the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. 
He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Yellow, yellow. Mike, 53. 53. First throw of overtime for Mahomes. And this one's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And it's third and short. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. On third down, it's very simple. Make sure you get beyond the sticks, make the catch, pick up the first down. But in this case, he turned into bonus time and was off to the races for a monster play. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. But it'll be second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. It's caught on the right side, Williams. It's a gain of seven, and just like that, it's third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. They'll try to run for it. Here's Williams. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. That's to his running back complete. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and a game winner in OT. And now the Browns are going to take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. And you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead. Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs. Stay on attack when attacking like damages. They react and play it back on the camera. Hot boy, just consider me flammable. Sure shot, I got all the intangibles. Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal. Eat the competition up like a Hannibal. Know the game like I wrote up the manual. I do weekly what you do on the annual. MVP, that decision unanimous. Hit dials, I don't think they can handle it. Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors. Guaranteed we emerge victorious. Years blessed, wet tears is glorious. I remember when they all was adoring us. Dash, dash, got it on. Smash, smash, foot on the 
gas. I will not crash. They will not stop me. Tempo, copy, end zone. Watch me, celebrate. I'm cocky. I do my dance. Jump in the stands. No man, no man. I'll deal with the hands. Thought it could guard me. I ruin their plans. I do what I want. They do what they can. Got it on smash. Put in the gas. I will not crash. Honey, y'all dash. 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 They slip on the team that they owe me. I need a ring and a trophy. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back go, here. Go. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he's been all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. The Chiefs take over first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 31 yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll make it second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Fighting through, and he's got space. Travis Kelsey. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey. 61 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The extra point up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. They go back to Gordon here on first down. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 
14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Benjamin with it over the middle. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Clock runs, less than a minute to go in an entertaining first quarter of play. Back to the ground now with Gordon. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Get on the tackle, Alex Okafor. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. They're going to run. This is Gordon. Stays on his feet. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Melvin Gordon unable to push his way forward. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. I know you ain't got it. Hey, 43. 57's the mic. Watch 57. I got him. Mahomes going to throw. Looking for Kelsey there, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jatavis Brown. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. The tight end, Kelsey, was the intended target. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. He's got the lane, and there he goes. Touchdown, L.A. Hunter Henry, 67 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, 
Those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Let's go. And now here comes Kansas City. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. 20. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 76 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. The extra point up and good. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 22. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Third and short yardage, Rivers. He's got a man. It's Williams. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. 12 more yards there and another first down. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage. The drag rack can be effective when it's run well. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Check, 380. 380. And a reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. On first and ten, Rivers. He rifles one that's intercepted. Darren Lee picks it, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to crowd him down near the 11-yard line. 
You don't see this often. The quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. Anything, right? That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Here's Rivers. And he's got it. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jatavis Brown. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Rivers now to throw on first down. Throw to the right here to Gordon. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Rivers. And this is caught at the 8. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Throwing Rivers toward the pylon, caught. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Phillip Rivers with his third touchdown pass of the game. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And now here comes Kansas City. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think with Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. On third and long, it's Mahomes being chased out left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Deep for the Chargers, Desmond King. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. 
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 37. On play action, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The old Cal Bear, Brandon Meebane, gets the sack. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Mahomes now to throw. Caught out left side by Robinson. The reception good for seven. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 3-2-18, chopper, chopper. Now Mahomes. Forced out to his left. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And picked up by the Chargers. The 20, there he goes, right side. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass out. Right pocket got euro. Left pocket got pow, pow. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Step back, let me get some room. Uh, pockets are dense, I think my bread is hard as a crouton. Receipts in my pocket don't come with a coupon. Hey, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love it, hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't. 